Good morning, it's Easter Sunday. We are so excited to celebrate together. We're gonna do Easter egg hunts and color Easter eggs and all the things. But we're starting off with a yummy breakfast. We're having German pancakes, homemade buttermilk syrup, bacon, and fruit. So Jeremy added cinnamon to the buttermilk syrup when he was making it. It's really good. Janae just stopped the breakfast conversation because she wants to show us a magic trick. Oh, it's back? Magic of Grace. No, it's only half there, what happened? I don't know. For a few years now, we've done a family Easter basket. We keep it pretty simple, but the idea is we wanna have a few new things to inspire us to have fun together as a family. So I'm looking forward to that. Janae chose to change her clothes, but she didn't get dressed. We're all still in our pajamas. She's just in her Christmas jammies. Why'd you put on these pajamas? I was cold. You were cold? Yeah, so now you're snuggly in your Christmas PJs. Jeremy's in our room. Secretly assembling. It's an oldie but a goodie. Oh yeah. Here's the rest of our family's Easter basket. We've got bubbles, a card game, regular Oreos and gluten-free Oreos, a Harry Potter puzzle, and this, I'm not sure if I can pull it out, but it's a fun way to decorate eggs, which we're gonna be doing shortly, and this is a new little toy for Sunny. We know this is a toy for small children, but our kids love it of all ages. Is that Sunny's new toy? Yeah. The rabbit. Oh. Happy Easter, Sunny Bunny. Yeah, touchdown. If you, if you hit it over that, did that mean a touchdown? So this is basketball. You're trying to make it in the hoop. Put it up. Yeah! Chippy! Yeah! Whoa! You okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny loves his bunny. Yeah. Sunny bunny. He's been squeaking it left and right. Come on, let's go play. Sunny bunny. Nick Day is bunny. Nick Day is bunny. Come here. This is the bottom. I heard one more Playing a family game of pig, which is the same game as horse. We're all trying to get Laura's shot right now. Sure. So the egg spins. Whoa. And then you draw. It just like shows up. Yeah. That is awesome. This is so cool. And you barely even have to use a marker. It's spinning so fast. It draws for you, which is insane. So satisfying. Oh, that looks so Right? It's so cool. Oh my goodness! And it doesn't even crack. It just spins and then you do the design. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this year they're going to be the prettiest because it's like, you can go like this. It's fun that we continue to find new ways to do it. 
All right, Janae's turn. Oh, look how deep and dark that blue is. It doesn't feel like paper. Yeah. It's an egg. <laughs> Very cool. How did it feel to do it, Cody? It felt like you're drawing on an egg. <laughs> yeah, because you're uh, uh, pass, pass. Somebody's learning to read. Deluxe. 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 Wow. Oh, and well, when? Try again. Wo, e, e. Mm, mm. Well, mm. Try again, try again. Wo, e, n. Win, win. Win! Oh my goodness. Well, there's always something that goes differently than planned. We got out the potatoes to make amazing potatoes to go with our ham tonight, and they've gone bad. Luckily, Jeremy recently picked up some hash browns at the store. They're like a season oven roasted hash browns. They smell really good. I don't know how well that flavor is gonna go with our ham, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to do different than what other people been doing. Well, I'm excited to see what you do. Ah, it's looking the same. Yeah, Caleb tried that. Next yeah. time I wanna try like a rainbow. That's a great idea. Okay, Isaac, your turn. Check this out. It's really pretty. Wow. All right, this is the Harry Potter puzzle. Yeah, we have the outside done and we're just barely starting on the inside. And I'm doing the Gryffindor one. The Gryffindor. Oh, that is fun. Okay, so you have to push down a little bit. Done. It's really pretty. Tries to use some white. Yeah, I like it. So apparently Janae has been working on cartwheels. Woo! <laughs> you have made so much progress. I wish we had a before and after shot of this because she has been doing amazing. Yeah! Nice! All right, it's all about color choice to mix it up. Let's see. What the? The black and white beauty. That is really pretty. How did you make it black and white? With My a turn. black marker. And a white egg. I really like how creative all of ours have been. Cause like we only have these colors and black, but like <laughs> we've only had like, cause like all of ours turned out differently. I really like that one. Just saying. This one's going into years. <laughs> Just saying. I love that that's what our family wants to do, is we want to find a way to do it different. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take a break on the eggs because it's dinner time. <laughs> so here's the roasted potatoes. They actually came out kind of spicy. I don't know if that's going to go with our sweet ham. Definitely different than the mashed potatoes I had pictured, but it's going to work. We have a saying in our house, Johnsons are flexible. We're definitely practicing that today. This is our Jesus devotional on Easter. Go ahead and pick an egg. Hmm. Blue. All right, open it up. What's inside? It's a scripture. Yeah. Job 19.25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Sing Christ the Lord is risen today. Christ the Lord is risen today. Every Easter we take some time to talk about what the meaning of Easter is. And this time Janae had some really adorable, sincere questions. She was just asking, why did Jesus die for us? We gave each of the kids a chance to answer, going from the youngest to the oldest, just talking about what they thought. And when I was able to talk about it, I tried to relate 
the Easter story to something that was current and meaningful to Janae. We recently just learned that my sister's kittens, one of them, died. And Janae had loved playing with these kittens when we were there. And when Janae found out that one of the kittens died, she cried for a couple days about it. She was really sad. And so we just related that to the idea of how sad death is, that we all die, and that the idea of Easter is that we can live again. And talking about how, you know, trying to apply the idea of Easter, it's like if the kittens were to live again, how beautiful that is. And what I loved is we did a family prayer at the end of this little devotional, and Janae prayed about being able to see the kittens again. And it was just neat that she is asking good questions and that she understood the idea of Easter. We know that our audience is made up of people from all different belief systems. And we want to be respectful to all those different ideas. I definitely don't feel like I have all the answers about the big questions in life. But it was really beautiful when Janae was praying to see her making a connection that was meaningful, that gave her hope and brought her happiness in some of the difficulty, sadness, and struggle of life. We're ending the night with the family read aloud. Chapter one. My earliest memory racks that scamper while the beams above my head. The terror of it stayed with me all my life. She was a fine working farm horse, getting on in years. But with old, who had never been farther than a few feet. Good night. Do you out? We're getting out the presents. All right, keep those eyes closed.